matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. as 155 pounds. It is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vinks. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, John. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna 
shut your body off. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand counter. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your form. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So the numbers continue to rise. A near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Sneaky head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a huge block there. Massive head kick. Super Bowl. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Nice punch lands over the top. Now he's got the Muay Thai drop. Takedown defense holds up. Lunges forward with a left there. Got the single collar tie. Choi's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh! All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh! Back mount now. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, feet on the hips here. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Back to the feet now. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. 
The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Straight punch lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, single collar tie now. Nice leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, huge right hand! Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. UFC lightweight champion. He is going to be a hard guy to buck off the throne and getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish on the sport's biggest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 45 seconds of round number 2. Playing the winner by knockout and still Still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. He looked as good as ever for my mom. He looked as good as he's ever looked 